Hey folks, this is Mr. Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. I'm coming to you today with a little quick addition to my playlist called Tools, Tips, and Tricks. I want to show you how I pasteurize my hot sauce in my low volume blending area. If I'm making a large number of bottle runs, I do it out in the main kitchen. But when I'm making four cases and under a particular recipe, I do it right here. And what I've got here is I've got my Viking Professional Induction Cooktop. This is 2400 watts. On top of it, I've got a very heavy stainless steel double boiler. Now the way the double boiler works, you put water in the bottom, you set your contents pot in, the water boils and it heats the contents. I've also got one of the probes of my thermo probe instant thermometer inside the solution. So I can watch the top reading all the time and tell what the solution is inside the pot. As I'm filling bottles, I use the second probe to check every four or five bottles to make sure I'm staying above my minimum temperature. Now for those of you who've not used induction uh, stove tops or who might have heard things about them, let me explain the truth. There's no heat on the top of an induction cooktop. There's a strong magnet which is excited by electricity. The more electricity you give it, the more excitement it gives. It transfers that excitement into the pot and into the contents. What's interesting about this thing is when it needs to shut off to maintain a temperature correlated to that wattage, it shuts off immediately. If you got water boiling and you shut this machine off, the water stops boiling. If you want to reboil it, you turn this machine on. If it's close to boiling within half a second, it's boiling again. So what the induction cooktop gives us when combined with a double boiler is indirect cooking with a much more responsive and controlled heat source. There's another thing that you folks might not have known about me. I'm a COPD patient and I wear oxygen. While I can take my oxygen off and go around flames like gas ovens and heated element ovens and cook, I prefer not to do it. When I'm cooking with my induction cooktop, there's no flame, there's no heat, there's no risk of anything catching fire, so I can continue to wear my oxygen. For me, it serves double purposes. Folks, if you're cooking at home and you like to make and simmer sensitive stews and sensitive sauces, or if you like to be able to boil water quickly or to boil eggs quickly, you should look into a portable cooktop that has induction heat. They're absolutely great. In addition to that, if you're not using a double boiler at home, you really should start doing it. There's nothing like the controlled heating of food that you get with a double boiler. If you are making pepper sauce, and I think some of you might be, pasteurizing is so easy in this because with the double boiler, you nearly eliminate the possibility of burning. With the induction cooktop, you don't have any temperature runaway. I so appreciate you being with me today. Look for this on our tools, tips, and tricks. And we'll see you next time.